see him out here. Looks like Tux is going to be playing his Decidui. He's been maining that character since DX came out. And Dibs going to be playing the Darkrai. He's kind of in the same boat. Been picking up Darkrai ever since the game came, ever since DX came out. All right, so starting off the match, uh, Tuck's just going to be spamming those arrows, whereas Dibs gets a setup and gets a combo into the face shift with Nightmare Mode activated. Let's see what he can do. Gets a combo, drops it. Ooh, gets a Dark Pulse. That'll allow him to set up. He's just going to grab, go for the damage. I can agree with that. That was some big damage coming out from the Dark right in the Nightmare Mode. Tux is in... A world of hurt right now. Oh, wow. I've barely gotten any damage on Dibs so far. But Decidueye, with that very good neutral, really good combo starters, um, he can, uh, if he can play safe and, you know, get a good footing, then this is an impossible. Dark Knight does struggle to capitalize oh, on yeah. certain things. That was a neutral. great option there for him to try to grab. That was easily a grab moment. But he expected something else to come out at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh, Dibs getting the Rotom barely and gets the combo off of it to take round one. I'm going to be doing some side stuff here, so. All right. Can you hit F? F? Yep. All right, so heading into round two, uh, both these players just kind of feeling each other out. It's kind of a zoning battle almost in the field phase until Sorry. one person can get a hit and then hopefully corner carrier get a combo started or if you're dark right getting nightmare mode oh uh, he gets the rotom stun off of uh tux's jump but uh goes for burst but that's gonna scale a lot yeah that didn't do nearly enough damage he could have gotten a lot better off of that tux just decides to run up and burst uh, dibs, you know, just scouting that out, respecting that option. All right, dibs getting another combo into nightmare. Tuck's opting for the lit and catches dibs out of it. Ooh, nice wake up option from, from dibs though. Get some pretty good damage out of him. Oh, and actually just dashes behind and grabs him. And that'll be the first game going to dibs. I will uh, update that in just a moment. Trying to post around. Yeah. I really think that Tux needs to both respect a lot of Dibs' options more and not respect other options that Dibs is going for that he is respecting. Because right. Darkrai is one of those characters who has some good n neutral options, but others that are good if you can land them but are not very safe. And Dibs has been going for quite a few of those, so we'll see what Tux can do. I mean, Decidueye is a very safe character generally in the neutral, so if he can get in Darkrai's face and kind of mess around with him, uh, should be pretty good for him, but we'll see what he can do. Um, when you have a second, can you fix Dibs' camera too? I'll have to, yeah. Like I said, I'm trying to post around a little bit. Yeah. My goal is to really try to... I want to start posting around. Yeah, get people more interested. <laughs> yeah, Cool Jake's not allowing them to connect. Bryce, we need you to go press A on one of their controllers. Oh, never mind. It worked. All right, so heading into game two, it looks like it's going to be the same characters coming out from both players. Yeah. 
Alright, so Tuck's still opting for the Litten support. I don't know how I feel about Litten in this matchup. Because I feel like what you really want is something to yeah, help no. you get past this wall that Litten, Darkrai's going to be putting in up. This, in this matchup, Litten really isn't the best option. I'd rather be seeing Pachirisu or Wimscott. Yeah, one of the two. Um, yeah, definitely one of those two over... Yeah. Maybe even a far fetch. Just something to get in his face and so that you can find your opening. And Dibs has kind of just been messing him up this first round. Uses the Rotom in field. Uh, Dibs yeah. jumping over the Litten. Yeah, and see that's a part that's a problem that Litten has too, is Litten is very easy to uh, avoid. Yeah, um, just a simple and jump this, will do. Honestly, Dibs didn't even need to go into Nightmare Shift there. He could have just finished it with a single follow-up. Yeah, but it doesn't take any punishment for doing that. Dibs securing the first round of Game 2 for himself. Yep. All right, I'm going to go fix his camera really quick. All right. All right. All right, so Dibs has Tux in the corner. Tux just going to be opting for his burst. I agree. I agree. Dash is in and definitely could have gotten a grab or some sort of punish, but just doesn't do anything when Dibs uses the Rotom and gets away scot-free. Good enough. All right, Dibs getting a combo into the Nightmare Mode and throws out an option to get hit by the Litten, but doesn't get the other hits because it's health isn't low enough. Grab on, wake up. Doesn't get punished. Oh, just a raw dark pulse into burst, and this is gonna kill. Oh. Yeah. That will be Dibs taking it over Tux. Two to zero.